Make a non-standard measuring tool, Lesson 9.4. If you haven't seen Lesson 9.3, you need to watch that one first, and there's a link in this description so you can go there. We can use a non-standard measuring tool to measure length. We can use any object as a non-standard unit of measure. We could use paper clips, glue sticks, shoes, pencils. We can use anything. We're measuring this pencil and we're using orange squares as our non-standard unit of measure. You don't want it to be spaced out like this. This is the wrong way to measure it with these orange squares, you want them to be side by side, completely next to each other, touching like that. This pencil is seven units long. Our measuring units need to be next to each other. This is a ruler, and you're gonna learn more about this in second grade. Up here are inches. Each of these numbers is one inch. The numbers down here are centimeters. This ruler is 12 inches long and inches are a standard measuring unit. We're learning about non-standard measuring units. So this is what a standard one would look like, one of them. We can make a non-standard measuring tool with paper clips. You can just get regular office paper clips like this and we can make a non-standard measuring tool. We link them together so that they make a chain, see? We can count how many units this blue line is. It's one, two, three, four, five paper clips. It's five paper clips long. The line is about five paper clips long. You can make your own paper clip measuring tool. All you need is a bunch of paper clips and you can link them together to make a measuring tool. See this bump right here? You take a measuring clip, a paper clip, and you just loop it on like that. Let's do it again. You take the paper clip, you put it right there, and just stick it on. Let's do it again. You take the paper clip, you loop it into this curve, and just pull. And you can make a very long paper clip chain. Then you can measure things with your long, non-standard paperclip measuring tool. Look at this red bar. We can line the measuring tool, the paperclip chain, up along the edge here so that they're even. They start at the same place. We hold it straight and we can count the paperclips. There's one, two, three, four, and almost goes into this one, doesn't it? See how the paper ends here? So it really is about right there. So it's about four, because it's not five. So we can say it's about four paper clips long. This little picture of a toy truck is about three paper clips long. We line the paper clip measuring tool up with the edge of the truck. We hold it to the end and we can count one, two, three paper clips. It's about three paper clips long. This spoon fork, called a spork really, is about three paper clips long. We can count one, two, three. It's about three paper clips long. We can make a very long paper clip chain to measure larger objects. Look at how long this one is that I made. Look at that. See how long that is? I made a very, very long one. I could have 
kept adding more and more and made it even longer. We could measure a chair, a table, a desk, or even a door. We can find how many paper clips long it is. We put the measuring tool at the edge of the object, right at the start. We count how many units to the end of the object, one, two, three. So that red bar is about three paper clips long. So you can make your own paperclip measuring tool and measure things around the house and see how many paperclips long they are. Our next lesson is problem solving, measure and compare, lesson 9.5. You can even measure yourself to see how many paper clips long you are. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.